as we see the finishing line in the distance. Two runners, two runners. Who will it be? Who will it be? Yes, who will it be? And, and he has left. Avatar. Hassan has attacked. Hassan has attacked. And he has blown. He is the champion today. Like I tell you, he is the sprinter. Let me see. Have won the race. And in second place is Jan Galang. Jan Galang in second place. Jan Galang in second place. In second place. Holy such a cross. 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 Holy The 25-year-old snagged the prestigious title of cross-country champion in convincing fashion, pedaling past second-place finisher American John DeLong on the approach to the finish line at the Digi Park on Newtong Barracks. At 11.54 a.m., Hennis crossed the finish line in 5 hours, 55 minutes, 28 seconds. DeLong was two seconds behind at the tape. Hennis told the media that he thought Belizean cyclists have matured over the years that he's been following them. So far, Belizeans come a long way. They're really strong. I mean, it's a long, tough race, so you could expect this, but I would say like a 135k race, they would do really great. But for the first two Belizeans to cross the finish line, Byron Pope and Marlon Castillo, teamwork between them could have resulted in a much better finish than the third and fourth that they placed. He started the attack at, 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 at Hattieville and I, I hollered out to Marlon and I said, Marlon, if you have it, you got to go with those guys. I said, Pope, we need to rotate. I said, no problem, let's rotate. But he was like kind of yelling at me and says, I'm trying to ride for press Belize. And I said, no, Marlon, I depend on my limit just like you and you need to understand racing. To uh, be honest, you don't know, I think, I think the, that first Belizean thing where they got, I think that make the Belizean, they know, ride to the fullest. Where where they need for for ride, I think they then settle with the first then then for them mind when the Belize and gone when the foreigner and gone. I tell Baron, let's go and we work together. Cause the first time me one bring them in, give me a little hand a call wrong, and then you never know anyone a week or when we come together. The line Byron is a fast man. For Pope, it was a disappointing finish. He said he trained hard, riding the full length of the race three times prior to the actual race in preparation. But when it came down to the sprint coming back home, he knew he was going up against the best in the sport. I feel like I kind of let down Belize a little because everybody was cheering for us, but I'll be honest, Hassan Hennis is no joke. I know the guy well from, I've raced him in the Caribbean, I've raced him in the States, and, I, and he's a real well-rounded guy. Um, John DeLong is no stranger to Belize, and, He's, he, he recently came off of a pro roster, so that guy is still, is still good now. The Long has placed in the top five before in a cross-country race, but this was his best performance yet. He told reporters that he got confused over where the finish line was. And then uh, I had a mistake at the end. Uh, I knew I had to jump before I saw the finish, but I didn't. <laughs> you know, it's hard to recognize things after 140 miles. You know, it's like, yeah, I came and looked at it yesterday, and I said, I'm okay, I know. But um, and I turned, and I saw the finish, and I knew, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> the first breakaway in the race came when Sean Codd and Eric Trapp rode off from the main peloton at mile 10 on a journey to San Ignacio. But the chase group, consisting of the first four finishers, caught them at Rockville and rode past them. This group went all the way to Cayo and Buck before DeLong and Hennis dropped Pope and Castillo at mile five on the return journey. Defending champion, Guatemalan Julio Miranda Padilla placed fifth this year. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.